Hello and welcome to Office Cooking. Uh, the title is pretty self-explanatory. It's just us making a bunch of stuff in the SVP office. Now, there are a lot of recipes out there about how to make mac and cheese in a microwave. And they usually just involve boil noodles and then add cheese to the noodles and then mix it around. And that's fine, like that's technically mac and cheese and if you have a craving for mac and cheese and you want it pretty quickly that will satisfy you but if you're like me you're not satisfied with that you want something a bit more gourmet so today i'm going to be teaching you how to make the best mac and cheese in a mug and microwave let's begin Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a half a cup of pasta. Now I actually like this pasta here because it's got these little ridges on the side which is going to help it hold the uh, cheese sauce a bit better. And yes, we are making a cheese sauce for this recipe. I'm just going to put these in by hand and you're going to add this to the mug. The next thing you're going to want is three fourths a cup of water. And then you're just gonna add that right into your pasta. Now we're going to microwave this. Two minutes. Now one thing I forgot to mention is that the oversized mug is important to this operation because without it, the water would definitely overflow when it starts to boil. Now it only might overflow which is why you have to keep an eye on it. If it starts to boil over, just open the door to pause the procedure, give it a mix, and then put it back in and continue to watch it. Now the pasta is not done yet. We're gonna give it a little mix. I'm also gonna add some salt to this because I forgot to do that earlier. All right, I'm gonna set it for one minute this time because I have a feeling it will start to boil over. I'm gonna give this another mix. And see that? It almost boiled over. Now, there is a way to get around the boiling over if you don't want to deal with that. You can always just get a wide microwave safe bowl and microwave it that way. All right, so it's been four minutes in the microwave. So this is a good time to test the pasta to see if it's the texture I want. Okay, so it's a bit firm, but also still chewy. You're able to chew it which is actually the consistency you want for mac and cheese. So we have these coffee lids in our office and it just so happens that it happens to be the perfect size for my mug. So what I'm gonna do is hold this in place. Oh God, that's hot. What you're going to do is gently pour out the water from the pasta. Be sure to put pressure on the bottom of the lid so that way it doesn't spill out like it has the past three times that I tried to do this. God. So now I'm going to transfer this onto a plate because we're going to be using this mug for the cheese sauce as well. What you're going to need for the cheese sauce is about a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to put this in the microwave for about 35 seconds. We're gonna melt this butter. Now this is called making the roux. And the second ingredient to a roux is flour. Now the goal here is to add the same amount of flour as you did butter. That's about a tablespoon. I don't have a tablespoon on hand, so I'm just gonna eyeball it and see if it's enough. So as you can see, it's formed a thick paste, which is exactly 
what you want. So we're gonna add a half a cup of milk along with some spices. A fourth teaspoon of salt. A fourth teaspoon of black pepper. And a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm gonna add this in. Now you're going to add a half a cup of cheese. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave for increments of 30 seconds. And you're gonna see it's still gonna be very watery and loose at the beginning. That's fine, just stir it around. And back in the microwave. Right, you're just gonna mix it around again, and you're gonna keep putting it in for 30 seconds until the mixture has thickened to your liking. It usually takes me around four times, but every microwave is different. So you can see, this is already thickened up beautifully. I'm gonna do it just one more time because that's what I usually do, and I am a creature of habit. So you can see, and sorry about the lighting, but um, you can see this is just thickened beautifully. So now I'm just gonna add my pasta to the cheese sauce. Hands are nature's forks. I'm just gonna get it mixed around till it's all covered. All right, and now it is complete. Let me give this a try. Legitimately, this recipe is one of the best mac and cheese recipes I've ever made. Yeah, and using spices is it's just, it adds so much to a mac and cheese that you wouldn't have there. The problem with a lot of mac and cheese is like, like the ones at Chartwell's is that they're very, the problem I find is that they're either watery, which this is not, or they're very bland. And the bland part is just, it bothers me because it's such an easy fix. All you have to do is add spices, even just salt, even just add salt to it. But pepper and nutmeg, it's such a good mix. And needless to say, you can add whatever spices you want. You can add whatever floats your boat. You could add paprika. Paprika would probably be really good with this. And you can also Mix and match the type of cheeses that you want. I like Munster. It's very like gooey, but it's also got like a nice funky flavor to it. So yeah, that's the best mug mac and cheese. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you took some value from this. And I hope to see you next time. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba.